Hey, CF Kids, guess what? We are kicking off a brand new series today called Driven. Hey, I'm super excited about this series because it's all about integrity. And Chris, integrity is basically my middle name. Oh no, not you two. What? You've been hanging out with Saskia, haven't you? Um, maybe. Anyway, CF Kids, integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Yeah, it means you're honest. You don't say one thing and then do something totally different. Exactly, and today I will make it my mission to teach all of you CF Kids to have integrity. <laughs> oh yeah, this should be good. <laughs> What's next? Well, first we review the Bible lesson. In Luke chapter six, verses 43 and 44, it says, for no good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. For figs are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. Hey, Michael, I'm sure the CF kids are wondering, <laughs> why are you telling them about trees, you know? Can you clarify that for them? Sure, the CF kids, you say, right? Yes, yeah, certainly, the CF kids, like me, myself, <laughs> I've been studying this for years, so I already know what you mean when you're right. talking about trees. Yeah. Right, right, right. But the right. CF kids, you know? Can for sure, you, yeah, you for sure. I got know? you, I got you. CF kids, this is for you. In these verses, Jesus was talking to his disciples, and he's about to compare trees to people. Check it out. The good person, out of the good treasure of his heart, produces good. And the evil person, out of his evil treasure, produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. See, just like a good tree gives good fruit, Jesus is saying that a person with a good heart will say and do good things. Oh, okay, gotcha. So kind of like how a bad tree would produce bad fruit. A person with a bad heart would do and say bad things. Exactly! And the only way to have a good heart is to love and follow Jesus. Michael, that was pretty good. I have to say, I am surprised. Because like when you first mentioned that you're going to teach the CF kids about integrity, I thought this was going to be a disaster. <laughs> well, Chris, if you thought that was good... Prepare to be amazed! You see, CF kids, Good fruit, the way I see it, is pretty much the same as doing good deeds. So rule number one, help others. Michael, this, Michael, 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 the dishwasher broke. I've been trying to fix it. I don't know what I'm doing. Farah, seriously, first of all, you're a mess. And second of all, you interrupted me in the middle of teaching the CF kids. And what are you fixing with those gigantic tools? But Michael, there are bubbles everywhere. I can tell. You're dripping it all over the place. Now, come on, you know, go back to playing with bubbles and wow. fixing a dishwasher. Thank you, Michael. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. As I was saying, CF Kids, a great way to show good is to help people when they need it. Um, my Michael, don't you think that you should... Oh, what? That's my alarm. Guys, I forgot I have to go to the store, but don't worry, CF Kids. I can show you the right things to do during our trip. Chris, are you coming? Um, no, I'm going to help. Vera? Oh, someone's been paying attention to my lesson. That is a fantastic idea. And please, can you make sure to clean up the bubbles? Someone could slip and... Ah. You see, CF Kids, I'm always thinking about others. All right, catch you later. hey -o. welcome to the car, everybody. So, I don't have my fancy whiteboard. But basically rule number two here is to show kindness. And when you're out here driving in Miami, it is the perfect way to show kindness. Now, ideally you do this. Are you kidding me? It is a roundabout. You don't stop, you yield. Let's go. Where'd you get your license? In a box of cereal? Come on. <sighs> Welcome to Miami. What was I saying? Oh, yes, kindness. Now, being a good driver in Miami, it is the perfect way to show kindness. That's actually a good deed, being a careful driver. Now, more of that to come. In the meantime, I'm going to go to the store, so I'll see you guys later. All right, bye everybody. All right, back from the store and plenty of more good deeds to be done. Okay, a 
if I can balance this here, I can we'll grab the keys. Okay. Got it. Yes. Hey, Gabby, hold the door for Wait, me. Thanks. Michael, can you please? Thank you, you so hold much. Hold the door for me, please. Please, oh, please. Spirit, oh. not a banana. Fruit of the spirit is not a banana. Fruit of the spirit is not a banana. If you want to be a banana. Hey, Kelly, what are you doing? Hey, I'm trying to make cupcakes for Esteban's birthday, but I can't. Time out, time out. Esteban the fish, right? Duh, who else? Oh. Well, I can't wait for those cupcakes. I bet they're going to taste delicious. See how kind I am? I didn't even tell Kelly. The fish don't eat cupcakes. Fruit of the spirit, not a banana. Fruit of the spirit. Oh, I thought it was you. I thought I heard you. Ah, uh, did you get that lavender extract I needed? Uh, you know, I checked. They didn't have any at the store. Oh. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I can figure something else out, but thanks for checking. Yeah, yeah, totally, for sure. For sure. Ooh, I completely forgot about the lavender extract that she asked me. Whew, that was a close one though. <laughs> So you lied? Uh, Chris, I didn't lie. I just hid the truth so that Melissa wouldn't get mad. It's okay, it's all in good conscience, Michael, Chris. Michael, you know that's called lying, right? It's fine, Chris. It's not like she'll know. By the way, I need to get back to the Sea of Kids. Oh, no, no, so. no, 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 no. I think they've heard enough from you. No, and haven't. frankly, so have I. What? I think you got this integrity thing all wrong. <gasps> Chris! Integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. It's not about following a long list of rules, and it's not about talking about doing good deeds. You actually have to do them. Chris, I do good deeds. I do them all the time. Really, Michael? Vera was in here begging for your help. Okay, it's Vera, though. Well, it's true, but still. And then you yelled at a random man in traffic. Uh, I got yeah, no excuse for that. Kelly was trying to reach something on the top shelf and you didn't assist. She's short. I'm sorry. Like, Gabby needed help with her boxes and... Well, I, I thought she was playing around. I didn't think she actually needed help. Really? And then you just flat out lied to Melissa's face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. That was me just hiding, not y saying... Your lies? The, fine. Fine, Chris. But I think the bigger question here is, how do you know any of that stuff? Don't, I was there by myself. Michael, Mi Michael, Michael, don't worry about it. The bigger issue is that if you want to have integrity, you need to be truthful with your whole life. Michael, CF Kids, integrity means doing what's right, even when no one is looking. When we're truthful with our whole life, we're not just honest with our words, we also make sure our actions in front of people or by ourselves match the life that God wants us to live. So I guess, I'm a bad tree bearing rotten fruit. Nah, you just need to stop focusing on doing good deeds and instead focus on following Jesus. When you follow Jesus and love him, the good fruit just bears itself naturally. Ah, oh, thanks, Chris. That's, that actually makes a lot of sense. Now, can you tell me how did you know all of that stuff? Oh, look at the time. Bye, see ya, kids. Wait, that's not very integrity of you, Chris. How did you know? Michael, Michael, oh no. See you kids, Chris tried to help and it's so much worse. There's bubbles everywhere and I don't even know what to do. Do you know a plumber? Can you call a plumber, send them here, please? Please, please, CF Kids. Hey, CF Kids, remember this thing? It's a challenge card and it's what you will need to complete this month if you want to win a giant tube of candy. So, in case you forgot how a challenge card works, let me refresh your memory. You will need to complete seven out of the eight tasks on your card. Here are the tasks. Watch all five episodes of the October series. Complete the family mission. Don't worry more on that in a minute. Learn your memory verse. And lastly, invite a friend to church. I would suggest inviting a friend to Candy Palooza at the end of the month. But hey, I'm just the announcer. I'm also the Challenge Guard champion of all time, so maybe you should listen to me. Anyway, good luck on those challenge cards, CF Kids. So, you want to complete your challenge card this month? Then you'll need to work on the family mission, which is 
Be a Blessing Thanksgiving Edition. Here's what you need to do. Step one, grab a paper bag. Step two, shop for the Thanksgiving food items on your screen. Step three, bring those food items to church. Step four, give yourself a round of applause because you just helped a family in need. Come on, CF Kids, let's all work together to be a blessing.